And in this second tutorial Revolve Components, we're going to be looking at the lid for the jar. So we'll get in, jump into on shape. Um, go down, I've already in my document there, so I'm going to go down to the bottom left here. I'm going to go insert a new element and I'm going to go create part studio. I'm going to go up to sketch again. This time I'm going to click on the front. And I'm going to click on the front on the view cube there as well, just so we're directly looking at what we're sketching onto. I'm going to use the line tool again. And we're going to hover over that center point there until it goes yellow. I'm going to click there. I'm going to come out horizontally. And we're coming out for roughly 35 millimeters. For going up about 10, making sure it's nice and vertical. And I'm going across a couple of millimeters down below that line we drew it first. And then we're going to go back to that middle point there. And what we're going to do this time is we're just going to connect that to that where we started as well. So to that line and then back to where we started. And then we've got and we've got the dimension tool. So clicking on that there, we're going to click on that line going out. Click above it. We're going to make that 35. We're going to click on that uh, vertical line there. Click off to the side. 10. We're going to click on that little small line there. You might need to zoom in to get a better view. Click on that there above it, we're going to make that 2, and then finally we're going to click on that line there and that line there, and then off to the side we're going to click again and we're going to make that a height of 2 there. And we're going to finish that there with the green tick. I'm just going to jump into the isometric view so we can see what's happening a little bit easier, and then we're going to use the revolve command. So it's asking us, we've got the blue here, face or sketch region, so we're going to use that uh, sketch region, region that we've created there. And now it's gone red for revolve axis, so we can click on that. And we're going to select that small line that we drew last there. And there we are. We're starting to get a lid shape. So we can just click the green tick there. Um, we are not going to be threading the inside of this lid. Um, but we are going to be doing is adding a couple of fillets just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And adding a hole in the center there. So what we'll do is we'll add the hole in the center first. So we're going to go up to sketch. I'm going to click on that inside face there. And then we're going to click on top there as well. So we've got a nice clear view of what we're doing. We're going to go up and we're going to use the center point circle. So we can click on that there. And we'll click on that center point there. I'm going to drag that out and click. We're going to go up to the dimension tool. We're going to select that and we're going to click on the circle and click again to position the dimension and we want that to be 30 millimeters so we type in 30 there press return that's black so we can see that's all looking good it's fully constrained and we can take the green tick here we're going to just jump back into the isometric view again and we'll just zoom in a little bit there and we're going to use the extrude command on this one here we're going to remove and then we're just going to click on that circle we've drawn there and you see it's cutting through for 25 millimeters there, which is fine. It's only cutting through two millimeters off lid. So we can just click green on that there, and that's good to go. So that's where the hole, so the jar can be positioned upside down, the sweet dispenser, and the sweets will go through that there. What we're gonna do now is just add a couple of rounds to make it a little more realistic. So click on that there, we're gonna make a radius one millimeter. Then I'm gonna click on that outside sur uh, surface there. We're gonna rotate this round holding shift and my middle mouse button down. And I'm going to click on that point there as well. And we can see we have got our uh, radiuses added there. And we can just click the green button. We're going to go down onto parts one. We're going to right click on part one. We're going to rename that. We're going to call that lid. We're going to go down here. We're going to rename that as well. We're going to call that lid as well. And finally, you're going to re-click there, and as we normally do last, we're going to edit the appearance there, and you can decide what color you want. I'm going to go for kind of purple, and I'm going to click um, the tick there, and that is our lid done. So we've used the revolve command again there. We've also extruded, and we've also added fillets, so that's a little round corner on the edge of the part there as well.